All right, everybody, welcome back to the Move Podcast, brought to you each and every time uh, this year by Ventum Bikes. I love my NS1, my road bike, my gravel bike, my GS1. They got a new adventure bike coming out that I named, I don't know if they'll use it, the ES1. Shows you how smart I am. <laughs> Special offer for our listeners, 10% off if you head on over to VentumRacing.com slash the move. That's 10% off. Use the code we do. If you don't get the bike within three weeks, it's another 10% off. Uh, I know everything might look a little bit different here, and I feel a little weird. I'm in the middle. I'm joined by Allison Tetrick, Mari Holden. We are covering uh, the women's tour. The the the. Uh, why do I always, Allison? What help me out here? It's a Tour de France form of X Swift. A vet, Tour de France form of X Swift, um, which they're calling the first ever. Which uh, we had a little debate <laughs> offline here. Um, uh, I, I I remember the women's tours going back. Uh, they had one in 1955. They had some in, you know, four or five of them in the eighties, but here we are. We're back again. And, uh, incredible stage win, um, by Lorena Weavis, uh, who, who won hands down. Um, it was cool. It was cool to see. There was a lot of action. Yeah. It's a great race today. Um, we can thank so many women and pioneers that have yeah. been riding this long road to see this occur again. Um, so the women's tour had occurred earlier and there have been a lot of great people pushing this mission forward. Um, I have raced on the Champs-Élysées due to La Course brought to you by Tour de France a couple times. So know those cobbles almost as well as you do. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and, and, and we saw uh, um, pl plenty of action. Plenty, you know, it was, it's, we saw some crashes, and it, it's, I, I try to describe what it's like to ride on the cobbles, um, it really in two different ways. One, when it's dry. One, when it's wet. If it's wet, it's just absolutely treacherous. Uh, fortunately, today it was dry. But crashing on those cobblestones, which we did unfortunately see a couple of crashes uh, in the women's race today, uh, it, it's different. I mean, you, there's, it's funny to think about different types of pavement when it comes to, like, which pavement do I want to fall on? These are brutal. I mean, these are... Uh, Definitely hard to hard, think about what kind you want to fall on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we talk about a little bit of a, I think it would be cool to cover a little bit of a preview of this tour and, and, and talk about the favorites. Although, you know, by all accounts, there is one clear favorite. Um, but it, it, this is an interesting course, uh, eight days course covers eight days. Um, I think has to me, just as a cycling fan sets up for an incredible finale, just because, as we know, the men's race just kind of strolls into Paris on the Champs Elysees, whereas the women's race could literally be decided in the last five minutes of the tour. I think it's what makes it super exciting because we'll start out with Agreed. the four flatter stages, and that'll give chances to the sprint teams. Um, and then we're going to go into some hillier, uh, more technical kind of courses in the middle, and then we're going to end it with two hard climbing stages. So we could see the jersey change hands like several times, and that's going to make it exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity talking to Elisa Balsamo. I mean, she's um, I think one of the the ones that we probably didn't see the best out of today. She was super boxed in. Elisa Balsamo mm. races for Trek Segafredo. Um, definitely was one of the clear favorites to get the first yellow jersey today. Um, looked boxed in. The lead out trains looked a little discombobulated to me. Maybe it was the crash and chaos and, you know, rider off the front, uh, but uh, she's looking for great opportunities for sprint stages, breakaway stages, and then, as you guys know, the last two stages are just the, the queen stage on the planche de la fee, but the super de planche de la fee. Right, right. And there's even a gravel stage in there. The gravel stage. I wanted to bring that up. So there's a, there's a I think it is stage four. Mm -hmm. uh, there's four or five second sections of, of gravel, which is, of course, we talk a lot about in cycling. Of course, your Mrs. Gravel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Make that misses now. She did a gravel. By race the way, can, can we get a congratulations to Allison Tetrick, newly married? I know this I is mean, my honeymoon. This How romantic. Is what, <laughs> this is what you know, honey. I have a good idea for our honeymoon. I am going to go hang out with Lance and Mari for a week. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, he'll just sit back there in the house and work. Uh, nobody's worried about Blaze. It's okay. I think Blaze is going to be just fine. George even gave up like the honeymoon suite for us. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't make the bed though. For there me. was, you know, and you got some, of course, the rest of the team is in the house. We did have some comments from, I believe Liz, uh, so they were a little worried. I got, I got the team. 
<laughs> Never mind. I'm, I'm Don't not worried about the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I stop. Today's show also brought to you by Roka. We talk about them all the time. They, they are making the best eyewear out there, whether it's the sunglasses side or the prescription side. You know, I'm a, a Mari's been borrowing my readers. Yep. <laughs> she's, I definitely need them. It's she, so embarrassing. She's blinder than me. Uh, custom <laughs> hand built down. Older. Yeah. A couple, couple, a custom hand built down in our hometown of Austin, Texas. Totally lightweight, no slip. Uh, and again, the optics are, are next level. Head on over to Roka. That's R O K A dot com. Use the code The Move for 20% off. Also, today brought to you by Wahoo. What a suite of products. You've got uh, everything from uh, the kicker bike, which we're going to obviously talk about with this. Uh, as as the women's tour is is sponsored by Zwift, um, that's how most people are are Zwifting right indoors. Uh, they got the kicker bike, the rival sports watch, which I rock all the time. The Bolt GPS, and then the Speed Play pedals they added to the suite. Uh, exclusive offer for our listeners: head on over to wahoofitness.com. Use the code the move for twenty percent off, and that is good through today. How about that for timing? <laughs> July twenty fourth. By the way, there's our flow code up there. Um, it, it, I see, I see so much more now that I'm at, that I'm in the middle. <laughs> this is a really interesting dynamic for me. Uh, six Americans in the tour. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Yep. It's awesome. We have, um, which was, it was going to be seven and look like Corinne Lebecki was oh. pulled out of the roster of Yumbo. Um, that's interesting. I need to know a little bit more about that, but we have six Americans, uh, human powered health has Lily Williams, which is track specialist got into cycling uh, later. Uh, we also have Leia Thomas, which is our current national TT champion. She actually had a broke her back and had surgery, was off the bike for a while, came back in. So she races for Trek Segafredo and then won national championships in the time trial. And then uh, EF Tipco. Right. Yeah, my, my, my favorite team. I, I actually, I, I, I will support the, the we're, yeah, I'm not even, we're not going down. This. No, 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 no. I just, the, the yeah. name was really long, but um, we have Chris at Dobell Hick, 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 Hick long there. Name. Yep. Uh, Emily Newsom and Veronica Ewers on that mm-hmm. team. So awesome. we have. Uh, and Kristen Faulkner. And Krista, yes. Not on EF, but Kristen Faulkner on, yeah. And Kristen Faulkner, and that's some, uh, something we should t- chat about there. Due to the crashes, there was some time loss. Uh, Faulkner Today. and uh, Amanda Spratt lost some time, um, mm-hmm. as, as well as a few others, just due to the crashes that were contenders for some stages and some good finishes. So Kristen's been riding today. amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, at the Giro, she was in breaks almost every day, it seemed like, and just had some incredible finishes. Yeah, Kristen Faulkner. Did she win too? Yeah, she, Giro, yeah, she was in the pink jersey the first stage. She mm-hmm. won the time trial. Um, and... Then she won another stage later, uh, and she did great. She had COVID. On the Queen stage. Yes. Yes. She had COVID, though, too, in between the Giro <laughs> and the Tour. So it's, bum- it's a bummer to see her crash today and lose some time, but that's going to give her opportunity to be successful in the break later. Yeah, we yep. had 74 riders all in the same time, and then there's a bit of a time got 15 seconds down, then down to 17. And, the, the, yeah, there's some folks that, due to these crashes, get either being in the crash or caught behind the crash, there's some, there's some, uh, some gaps already opened up. I have, but I have a question. Is there just cause I'm, I, w- I want to be beamed up just like a lot of our listeners. And we've just watched the men's uh, tour, which of course wraps up today. And you see this incredible team in Jumbo Visma that is, they just kind of do whatever they want with the Peloton. Mm-hmm. Is there an equivalent to that sort of super team in the women's Peloton? I would say it would be Trek is a super team that's out there and SD works are both super teams. Um, they they dominate in the races. I was surprised in the finish today that it wasn't more organized in the last couple of kilometers um, because normally you see it super organized through the lead out teams. But um, yeah, I would say that those are the big super teams. Yeah, I agree. I think those are the more organized team with the high firepower with mm-hmm. a lot of different diversity in their riders. Um, so when you're looking at the previews for the courses, they have the team to support their riders, but... When you look at a rider like Anamik Van Bluten, mm-hmm. she has a great team. Some uh, She has some uh, teammates that I've been teammates with. They're great domestic, great stage racers. And also, the, when you have Anamik, awesome. And, she, and, 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 yeah. and she, it's hers to lose, right? That's mm-hmm. what, if you, and no matter where you look or read, um, I mean, she's, uh, I think on everybody's list, the yeah. number one favorite. I mean, they're all all in for her, 100%. So, I mean, that team is just going to be all around her the whole time. And she 
is so smart. She takes the race into her own hands mm. and controls things like when she sees opportunities. So she's a really exciting rider to watch for sure. Wow. Allie. Oh, oh, I had, I, well, I we're going to get Allie a Bloody Mary. <laughs> no, I mean, I, she, she, listen, she's on her honeymoon. <laughs> so uh, it's every, every morning this, this week of Bloody Mary's for you with Lyft Vodka. Oh, perfect. I mean, I'm right here next to the office and I didn't know why it wasn't well, on the Well, we table. were a little, and, and we walked out this morning after we watched the race and we were get, kind of getting loaded up to come down here to the studio. Your bike was out there and you had a number on it. Like I was, I said to HR here, I said, Holy shit, this girl thinks we're racing. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a long week. Yeah, I'm racing. You raced yesterday. Yeah, totally. Stage um, one. Yeah, stage one. <laughs> stage one to what try we, to get with, it past me. Speaking of Zwift, and, mm -hmm. and of course, they hats off to them and kudos to them for uh, for, for really supporting women's cycling. I mean, this is a, um, whether you want to call it the 10th women's tour or the first or the 50th, I don't know. Uh, but a huge brand in cycling. So we have a special thing that we're doing with them in partnership uh, as, as part of the t women's tour and, and, uh, and what we're doing. Yeah. I love Zwift. I'm a big Zwifter. Um, we see the hat. Yeah. <laughs> I know I have the cap on, watch the femme uh, here. And so there's a, we do segment uh, and it takes place throughout the women's tour de France femme of X Zwift, July 24th through July 31st and takes place virtually on Zwift on their Champs-Élysées route. So basically, it's Johnson Lizay Roots, two mile warm up, uh, then a 4.1, don't, don't forget that point one mile <laughs> hot lap <laughs> from start banner to yeah. end banner. Non draft game features on. All riders wear the We Do kit and ride on Ventum NS1s. Head to Zwift and join them. <laughs> if, when I do the segment, I might be on you, a different you, bike. You but would we probably love, be on yeah. a specialist. We understand. <laughs> <laughs> we understand. Um, I, I, I do love, I do love um, you Dia. Love Dia. Uh, head to Zwift and join the We Do segment rides four times each day, time zone dependent. I like it says LA, we'll call it a daily leaderboard. Like, I just don't know you as LA. I always struggle with that, but it's okay. Um, so ride I don't as know often where that came. I mean, as a, the, the last five years, it just keeps popping up, LA. It's I like, don't know. Maybe because I sign off my, my emails, I sign yeah, LA. Yeah. It kind of sounds like LA anyway. But um, <laughs> so we love Zwift for this. Uh, watch the FOM is their tagline. It's on my hat, whichever way I can turn. Yeah, watch the FOM. <laughs> and uh, it's just super cool. So we talked about it earlier in the previews, but WTF is just watching more women cycling, promotes women cycling, and the more women win, the more women win. So I, I didn't see, I didn't catch that before. WTF. WTF, watch the FOM. Oh. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> Hashtag WTF. <laughs> Right. Holy shit, who thought of that? That's amazing. <laughs> They're hired. Uh, speaking of the Shams Lise, I wanted to pull up this, this because this I've never, and I've ridden, you know, final stages in the tour, I don't know how many times, but this is the first time that I can remember that they had the barriers set up the way that they did. And and I'm this uh. is this this is a disaster. Watch this, guys and gals. This is a disaster in the making, right? And as as they because the riders, what you see, look, they 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 think, oh, I can move over here, but then all of a sudden it starts to go away from them. This is going to lead, as we saw in the women's race. I, I, I'm assuming they'll keep them the same for the men's race here in a few hours. Uh, bad, poor design. It's such a bad decision to do yeah. that. I just can't even imagine who thought that this would be a good idea. You know, it just tightens it up, causes yep. people to move, you know, in ways that you're not expecting, and crashes just so dangerous and the only thing i can think of is that they wanted to get good aerial views and it looked kind of cool artsy but not very efficient did we, did we show the final the, the the final sprint the footage of the final sprint that might be kind of although i um it, there was oh. not much of a close race here although it was, it was what a drag race yes yeah, so you have voss starting an early sprint as she usually does um and Lepecki did lose some of her lead out train in that crash. And then my former team out, teammate and a track world champion, you got Raquel Barberi in fourth. Um, but just, she bossed that man. <laughs> but um, awesome. I have a, I have a thing that uh, Lance, Lance, um, Mari and I are a little upset about. <laughs> so he's in the middle. We've only made him blush three times, but we're sitting downstairs watching, watching the finish and Lance notices Lorena's nails 
Ooh, that's right. That was a big moment, it was actually. A, it was, well, I, 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 I... I'm disappointed in myself. Both of us, actually. <laughs> you know, that he pointed it out, and then it was the yellow, and then we noticed, or he then he noticed the green on the other hand. So it was like, you know, how come we didn't see that? Well, I saw, you know, and of course it... it, it, it uh, the camera panned over there and she was giving somebody a hug and she, one hand was painted. All of her nails were painted yellow. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, that's perfect. She, she now has the yellow Jersey. She clearly expected to have the yellow Jersey. And then they, and then they pan around to the other hand and all of those fingernails are painted green, which I also noticed. <laughs> yeah, and here we thought you were blind and, and dumb, <laughs> not noticing things. I was going to say that's but, pretty confident going into a stage and painting yeah. your nails for the, the finish. So we're going to need manicures yeah. while we're here. No problem. Allie asked earlier anyways. Nope. <laughs> That's already on the list this week. No problem. <laughs> Today's show also brought to you by Helix Sleep. I've had my Helix ma- You guys need a Helix mattress. I this just got married, you know. <laughs> I know well, uh, okay, this, now listen. <laughs> Dear Helix, Allie just Need's got married <laughs> and she would <laughs> like, like a, mattress. a new mattress. So here's what you and, here's what you and Blaze are going to do. You're going to go over to Helix Sleep dot com and you're going to fill out a two minute sleep quiz <laughs> and you're going to type in i just got married i am on my honeymoon all of this the juicy stuff <laughs> and and they will customize the mattress this is no shit they will actually customize the mattress for you and and no no who's blushing now <laughs> no they, they it's it. It, completely customized and don't, don't and it is it's changed my sleep um uh it's the best sleep i've ever had now don't take it just from me because gq named it the best mattress uh wired magazine named it the best mattress out there so head on over take the sleep quiz that's over at helixsleep.com slash the move special offer for our listeners two hundred dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners again that's helixsleep.com slash the move should we um, have a look at tomorrow? I feel like, uh, and again, they've, and they've sort of got it broken down. Um, where is this? It was very convenient, this printout I had. We kind of have four sprint days, uh, two what they call hilly stages, and two mountain stages. So, of course, tomorrow is considered to be another sprint finish. Um, yes, it is. There's our profile, 136 kilometers. By the way, the longest stage is 175K. They had to get a little Pretty extra long. extra permission from the UCI to do that. Oh, really? Like, now do tell. Well, remember we we've discussed this oh, we before. Discuss, okay, when the, when the what, women when the, are not supposed to ride longer than how far? Uh, I think it's over 164 or something like that. You know, because ovaries are just need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How could I forget the ovary discussion? <laughs> yeah. But um, so they discussion. did. This is a long stage, uh, and yeah. I think that'll be a really hard stage. So. Yeah. Special permission from the UCI, but love to see the longer races. Um, and so, what do oh. they? And then that's, I guess, that's the beauty of, of things being unsanctioned, like Dunbound. I mean, you, you, God forbid a woman would ride gravel for two hundred miles. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just got on the ovaries. Yeah, I mean, but quite honestly, Earth like control. in some of those races <laughs> that have that are one hundred and sixty k, they'll still add on a neutral that could be like twenty right. k or whatever. So it really doesn't make that much sense. The the rules that they have, yeah. it's all just. Just made up, kind of. It's, a little, it's, it's definitely a little, archaic. Yeah. Things need to be changed, but well, we're pushing through. Yeah, so we tomorrow, are. T- baby t- steps. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Speaking of baby, that's apparently it's, <laughs> apparently baby Lorena Weebus <laughs> was on. Not not apparently she was on. <laughs> this is amazing to me. So, and I'm watching this going. That is so cute. She just had a baby. She's already in the yellow jersey, and she's 23, and she's young, <laughs> and it's not her baby. Nope. It's not her baby. Not her baby. <laughs> We, we text, Mari and We're I trying texted to find a few out. friends real, real quick and, and we have determined that it's not her and baby. The poor ba- and the poor baby did not want to be there. I'm like, I'm thinking it's her baby. I'm like, that's all right. It's her baby. The baby's crying. It's not, a, it's some stranger's baby crying. But, and now has a Zwift, you know, little puffy squirrel. You know, she gets the Zwift fluffy. The little baby. Yeah. <laughs> Do we see the same winner tomorrow? I mean, the way, the way she won today, pretty dominant. Do we, does she win again in yellow? I think she has a huge chance to, yeah. she's a, he- a heavy favorite. Um, I think we go back and look at, um, I think Balsama's looking for a little revenge. And Voss. We have Voss. Um, this mm-hmm. is going to mean a lot to Voss. She's been racing a long time, and this is her first official Tour de France. Yeah. Yeah. So she is going to really focus on that. 
And you watched her go for that first intermediate sprint. Right. She waxed the first one with no contest. She did not try the second one. It was too close to the finish. She was waiting, yeah. And definitely. she went as hard as she could for that finish. Mm -hmm. So I would still put her as her favorite. And then Kapeki, I mean, yeah. another big disappointment from SD Works there. So, mm -hmm. and today, I guess we should also talk that um, SD Works wore custom, the, jer yeah, special jersey. Special jerseys uh, commemorating uh, raising money for Amy Peters, one of their teammates who had a horrific training crash um, and she designed the jersey mm -hmm. which is really special yeah, yeah. so they only yeah. wore that today but amy peters uh is dealing with a severe head injury and the costs and rehabilitation are are intense but we are so lucky she's mm. alive career mm. ending yeah oh god that's yeah. terrible well we were I mean, sure she, how long was she in the coma she was in the coma for months mm -hmm. it was a long god. time yeah mm -hmm. But we're happy she's alive. Yeah, so I know we're and designing jerseys. And most of the riders, and probably all of the riders in the peloton, are definitely riding for Amy mm -hmm. and uh, wow. with her spirit. So awesome, awesome. We wish her the best. Uh, tomorrow's finish is a little bit uphill. I don't know if that matters for for Lorena, but um, you know, it's not it's not entirely flat. If my notes are correct, but we shall see. Yeah, it'll be an exciting stage. Yeah, good one for us. And, and good news for you, Allison. Um, you get to sleep in an extra hour. Right? Today, <laughs> okay. Today's finish was a, an hour earlier due to uh, another bike race that's going to finish there in a little while. Uh, but tomorrow you get to sleep in another hour. That's good. I'll, I'll be a little more on and put a little more sleep. <laughs> 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 and that Bloody Mary. Uh, <laughs> amen. Bloody Mary is all around. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys and gals for uh, stage two of... Uh, Tour de France Femme uh, de Femme uh, it's, it's the Tour de France Femme You know what Femme Hang on a second I really And I, I, I'm just I'm just Verklempt <laughs> I'm in the middle seat I'm new to this Fucking JB Usually does this JB I'm, I'm a sh I'm a shadow of a man uh, We did not uh, Have Mel Hinkempi Introduce Stage 1 Oh. We needed to do that. I know. I should have done it. I, again, it's on the list. It's, Courtney and, put it on the list. And it is on the notes. Thank you, HR. <laughs> but it's not too late. Okay. So we just so we're, we just spent <laughs> half an hour talking about the first stage, but we didn't tell you where we started and where we ended. So could we cue Mel Hincapi? And again, not that you guys need to be reminded, this is George's bride, and she's French. Stage one from Paris Tour Eiffel to Champs Elysees. Oh. Paris oh. Tour Eiffel. Two Champs Elysees. Is that is? I think she's a lot better than Alain. This is <laughs> I already hear her talk at the time. fact I that know, I almost so forgot that. I looked up, I saw the notes, and I was like, "Uh oh." She would. By the way, she'd kill me if I if I left her out today. I good thing you remembered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. Wow, she sounds. You don't good. want the vengeance of a French woman. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you have any questions to send in for any of us, we'll we'll get to as many as we can on the show. Send those over to the move at we do dot team. Again, that's the move at we do dot team. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.